The next bill on the calendar for the day is House File 1403. The clerk will report the bill. House File number 1403, number two on the calendar for the day, an act relating to human services, the first engrossment. I recognize the author of the bill, the member from Ramsey, Representative Fisher, to explain the bill. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I appreciate the opportunity to present House File 1403. I'd like to first start off by thanking our staff that we had, our nonpartisan non staff, Danella uh, Pinelli and Sarah Sunderman. Uh, also very important is Doug Berg for confirming that this bill does not have any cost. Uh, next, I'd like to uh, thank our committee page, Zach Cullen, uh, GOP Research, Jonathan Cotter, DFL Research, Spencer Coase, our committee staff, uh, Nick Stumo Langer and Jared Margulies, and then our GOP lead, uh, uh, Lead Keel. Uh, she did a great job, and also for um, uh, uh, Representative Baker for helping uh, fill in as, as needed there. And most importantly, Chair Knorr, who is part of our committee, uh, Vice Chair Frederick, and all the committee members. Uh, we did some really amazing bipartisan work. We've got uh, parts of this bill include bills from uh, Representative Edelson, Finke, and Curran, uh, also work from Representative Baker. Uh, very quickly, Article 1 uh, of the bill contains policy and technical changes to various aging, disability, and behavioral health services. Article 2 addresses substance use disorders, uh, basically Rule 25 assessments for placing substance use disorder services through the Behavioral Health Fund and direct access. And then finally, uh, Article 3, which is miscellaneous, it does a definition of court examiner and hitting some effective dates of previous laws. Uh, with that, we'll stop for amendments, and I will be asking for a green vote. There is an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. Fisher moves to amend House Law number 1403, the first engrossment. The amendment is coded A23-0121. Representative Fisher. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. The A23 is primarily a technical amendment. It helps uh, align language that updates direct access infrastructure for substance use disorder treatment, and then updates with technical assistance uh, different parts of the bills, uh, uh, different bills that were incorporated into this article. Any discussion on the Fisher Amendment? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Those opposed, please say no. The motion prevails. The amendment is adopted. There's an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. Cran moves to amend House Law number 1403. First and Grossman has amended. The amendment is coded A2. The member from Ramsey, Representative Curran. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you, members. And first, I want to thank uh, Chairs Nor and Fisher for the great work this session. It's been incredible to work with you all and our team. Um, so what I have before everyone today is an amendment. We did discuss this in committee. Um, and I want to give uh, specific thanks to Leeds, uh, New Brindley, Keel, and of course, Baker. Um, we had a lot of agreement in our human services uh, committees. And I sat specifically on the policy committee, but had a chance to present bills in front of our fine finance committee as well. And I just really wanted to point out that I appreciate how bipartisan a lot of our conversations were. Um, and then in the spirit of that, we had discussed how uh, sometimes unintentionally when we're creating regulations or we're, we're uh, you know, making changes to different licenses for facilities, every once in a while somebody gets left out. Uh, they might get in a situation where um, a, you, they really just need us to help them out so that we can uh, have people access the services they need. Um, so that's exactly what the A2 amendment does here today. Um, this will uh, make an exception um, that we have currently available customized living service units to be utilized um, so that people who are waiting for that right setting to meet their service needs have the access to meet these settings. Um, I'll just say that we have a great opportunity to come together in a bipartisan way again to make an immediate positive change for people in Minnesota. This is a very small provision and it might only affect a really small group of people, but to those individuals, this will mean to world, the world to them. So I urge a green vote. Thank you. Discussion on the current amendment. Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. aye. Those opposed, please say no. The motion prevails, the amendment is adopted. There's an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. 
Baker moves to amend House Law number 1403. The first engrossment as amended. The amendment is coded A8. The member from Candy, Ohio, Representative Baker. Uh, Madam Chair, Madam Speaker, uh, and members, I uh, offer the A8 amendment here, and it's uh, an important policy provision uh, that we need to do to help uh, House File 1403 get even a little bit better. Uh, I'm offering this amendment because I'm interested in making the regulatory changes that will increase access to life-saving opioid treatments while maintaining counseling service and recognizing the important work that we do uh, in our workforce area. Deaths among Minnesotans in the last couple of years uh, have increased about 44 uh, percent. We've got to change that, members, and we've got to do a better job with that. The need for people to get help with opioid disorders is urgent, but the current regulations mean that many of them are forced to wait until there are openings once they seek help. Currently, when counselors' caseloads are full in an opioid treatment program, they are required to stop taking new patients. Over the past year, every opioid treatment program in the state of Minnesota has had a period of time when they couldn't take any new patients. This situation makes it really hard for people in crisis to get the help that they need. This amendment does two things, members. <clears throat> the first change modifies it when treatment plan reviews must take place. Under current law, treatment plans must be reviewed every week for the first 10 weeks of treatment, and then at least monthly. What this does, the proposal, requires the, the treatment to happen every three months after the first month, and then as uh, needed as it's reviewed. This change will decrease the workload burden on many counselors, which will help that uh, lessen that load a little bit there. Uh, members, the second item, uh, current law states that a supervisor must not supervise, uh, I'm sorry, a, a drug counselor must not supervise more than 50 clients at a time. Uh, we're giving that up to 60 clients now. We're going to give them more wiggle room, more ability to help more people, uh, which raises their capacity about 20 percent. And what that will do, members, is give uh, uh, just more access to that. Leadership in these programs, again, this is where you would go to get Suboxone, medically assisted uh, uh, treatments and programs to help stay sober longer. This is, this is working for a lot of people. And when you first get into a system and a, and a program like this, it takes more time on the front end. Once a person has established a routine and has trust built up, we can give them more longer um, uh, versions of this, weeks at a time, a week at a time, or a month at a time. So uh, with this, members, I support the A4 amendment, uh, and uh, I'm sorry, the 88 amendment, and uh, appreciate your green support of this, members. Thank you. Representative Fish, uh, sorry, I was going back to the author of the bill. The member from Blue Earth, Representative Frederick. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker and members. Um, I'd like to thank Representative Baker for offering the amendment. It is a good amendment. I encourage our members to vote green. Uh, in addition to the things that Representative Baker highlighted, it also addresses recovery community organizations. Uh, RCOs are all over the state. They are grassroots spaces for people who are at every uh, everywhere along their recovery journey. It creates community. It creates a safe space. Uh, and the language in this bill uh, helps them ensure that going forward as RCOs expand, they have a set of standards to, to continue having that space, safe space, and I encourage everyone to vote green. Thank you. All those in favor of the Baker Amendment, please say aye. aye. Those opposed, please say no. The motion prevails. The amendment is adopted. There are no further amendments at the desk. The clerk will give the bill its third reading. Third reading, House Hall number 1403, as amended. Third reading, as amended. Discussion to the bill. The member from Candy, Ohio, Representative Baker. Uh, Madam Speaker and members, thank you very much for um, uh, pushing this thing through pretty well. I just want to say thank you to Chair uh, uh, Fisher. Uh, you were a very good collaborator with us on a lot of these things. And again, this bill, uh, you brought us in early and brought myself in and my team uh, Jonathan Cotter to be a part of this process before it all got wrapped up. I want to thank my friend uh, Representative Frederick for again working with alongside of us with the March bill early on throughout the whole process and always knowing behind this whole thing we had Chair Knorr right behind us as well. So he was knowing and in step with what we were working on and I appreciate uh, Representative uh, Knorr's uh, help the whole time. Members, this is a good bill that uh, helps a lot of people suffering from these kind of things that we've talked about. Uh, mental health, 
substance use disorder. We're, we're finding ways to help folks that are in the substance use um, industry. Uh, I hope that we can support this with a good, with a good green vote. I plan to vote uh, yes, and I would ask for your support as well. Thank you. Discussion. The member from Ramsey, Representative Fisher. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, thank you, everybody, for the opportunity to present 1403. I would ask for a green vote. This has got a lot of great bipartisan work. We've worked as a team to get this done, and I will look for a strong green vote from everyone. Thank you. The clerk will take the roll on the bill. Members, please vote. The clerk will close the roll. There being 115 ayes and 10 nays, the bill is passed as amended and its title agreed to.